rational algebraic expressions wherein rational algebraic expressions are mathematical sentences that contain rational algebraic expressions so this lesson um, can be found from grade 8 ra about rational algebraic expressions check the channel to to see the process the explanation about this rational algebraic expression can be expressed as a quotient of two other algebraic expressions so examples of um, quadratic equations from your previous B, um, lesson examples are x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0 this is an example of quadratic equation and also including this x open the quantity of x plus 2 equals negative 6 and 3 x plus 1 um, then x plus 4 uh, x minus 4 equals 5 and also 2 all over x plus x all over 4 equals 9 so remember that quadratic equation is a second degree equation so from the previous lesson do not forget um, the process or to find the least common denominator or the or the LCD in which our LCD is the smallest number smallest number or term that can be a common denominator for a set of rational algebraic expressions so as always as I recall a an LCD it's the smallest number or term that can be a common in the denominator of a set of rational algebraic expression so example example we're in 1 all over x plus x plus 1 all over 2 equals 1 all over x so um, the very first step is to determine the LCD the LCD of this given um, to determine the X LCD just only determine the least number number or term so in this example our LCD here is 2x y2 it's because we have number in um, x why is it only one x so it is already common so we will only get one x so therefore the our lcd for given one is um 2x next 2x our lcd multiply to both sides of the given equation to transform rational equation to quadratic equation in simplest form so by simplifying this um, rational equation we are transforming it into quadratic equation to transform it just simply first copy the given plus x plus 1 all over 2 equals 1 all over x transform it into quadratic equation by multiplying the LCD both sides parenthesis our LCD is 2 of x 2 x both side so if a whole number um, a whole number will always have a denominator of 1 so it is an imaginary number 1 then multiply directly numerator to numerator denominator to denominator so here we will start we're in 2x times 1 will simply give us 2x all over x later we will simplify this next 2x times 1 will give us will give you 2x all over x plus distribute this we are distributing already to 1 and also to x plus 1. So therefore, 2x times the quantity, quantity of x plus 1 will give you 2x, open close parenthesis, x plus 1 over 2. 
because 1 times x will give you x, 1 times 2 will give you 2, 1 times x will give you x. Let us simplify. So simplifying, we will cancel the common, common, ter, common factor. So the common factor for this is x, common is x, so cancel. So you, you, the number 2 will left for this, you will give, um, the answer will be 2 plus so the common will be here the common factor is 2 cancel 2 so therefore you will have x open close parenthesis x plus 1 equals so the same cancel the common x so you have 2 so this time let us now transform it into quadratic equation simply um by transforming to <clears throat> to the other side together with them so copy two <clears throat> combine the numbers so let's place it together with two since it is positive transforming it to the other side passing through an equal sign will change its sign so therefore since it is positive it will now become negative 2 plus x and close parenthesis the quantity of x plus 1 equals 0 so simplify 2 minus 2 will give you 0 so therefore if it is 0 do not anymore place that because it is already 0 so you will have x quantity of x plus 1 equals 0 so that is your quadratic equation let us simplify the equation by determining the values or the roots of roots of quadratic equation quadratic equation we're in simply um, apply addition property of equality so your x will be having x equals 0 and also the same here will give you um, x plus 1 equals 0 remove already the parentheses so you have already x equals 0 and this you need to determine the x so x simply transpose this positive one to the other side so therefore equals equal since it is positive it will now become negative so therefore your roots or solution of your roots of quadratic equations are x equals 0 to x negative 1